Thank you very much. Always hard to follow this very We've heard from so many politicians and community leaders in the last few months. Good evening. Ellen, are you on 601? I'm 601. I'd like to add something tonight that they haven't touched on. First, I'd like to say something no elected official has said at this podium. I am a parent who is sending my child to the Jersey City Public Schools. None of the elected officials we've heard from who care so deeply about it, education suddenly have ever mentioned this because none of their kids go to these schools. My kid does. Second, something else none of them said. None of them talked about student achievement. None of them said, our schools can be better. Our schools should be better. Our schools must be better. We heard a lot about who is friends with whom, who's been around the city for the most amount of time, etc. But no one, no one mentioned what's wrong with the way things are. No one mentioned the most recent data from the nonprofit, nonpartisan Alliance for Excellent Education. As of 2010, only 39% of the students who are freshmen at Snyder were seniors four years later. That means six in 10 students at Snyder's who should have been seniors by 2010 had either been held back at least one grade or had dropped out. At Lincoln, only half the students in the same period made it from freshman year to senior year in four years. Five out of 10 had been held back at least one grade or had dropped out. Is this the best we can do? We can do better, we should do better, and for the sake of our children, for the sake of all of our children, we must do better. No one mentioned that 389 students have dropped out of our schools through May of this year. That includes 38 freshmen from Dickinson who will leave school with an eighth grade education, 35 freshmen from Lincoln who will leave school with an eighth grade education, 61 freshmen from Snyder who will leave school with an eighth grade education, and 63 freshmen from Ferris who are dropping out of school with an eighth grade education. I hear about how great things are in this district and keeping what we have, well that's what we have. Is this the best we can do? I say no. We should do better. We can do better. And for the sake of our children, for the sake of all of our children, we have to bring someone in from the outside who can do better. By the end of this month, our schools will have enough dropouts to fill a 747. Where is that plane heading? According to a recent study from Northeastern University, if these teams follow the patterns of most dropouts in this nation, about 200 of those passengers will be unemployed. If they make money, their mean income will be $9,000 for the year. About 38% of the passengers will wind up in jail or juvenile detention. We, all of us, the people in Jersey City, helped put those kids on that plane to nowhere. We had hands in it because we didn't care enough, and we were so busy fighting over who gets what that we didn't pay attention to these kids who were sending to jail and to the unemployment line. The poet Yevgeny Yevtushenko wrote, the young will not forgive in us what we forgave in ourselves. Let's be less forgiving of ourselves. Let's demand our schools do better for all our children. Before one more child steps on that plane, let's say it together. We can do better, we should do better, we must do better. Let's bring someone in from the outside who isn't steeped in this system up to his eyeballs who can look at it for what it is and figure out how to make it better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.